welcome to Miss Julie's Montessori Minute. After publishing a new video every weekday in August, I took a little break because I need to concentrate on my own Montessori toddler classroom. But I do enjoy making these videos for you and I am so grateful that some of you are finding them very helpful. I'm not sure exactly if I've mentioned it on this channel, but I am a Montessori teacher trainer as well. And after a little break from that during the pandemic, I was just filming a video for that course on incorporating photography and works of art into the Montessori toddler classroom environment. So I thought I'd do that for you as well. First, let's talk about why we would even hang art on the walls. The purpose of a Montessori classroom, especially at the infant, toddler, and preschool kindergarten age, is to be a cozy home environment. And in home environments, we do have art on the wall. Another reason to have beautiful artwork hanging on the walls, it inspires the artistic soul and the artistic mind and the scientific mind as well. Toddlers are in the sensitive period of assimilation of images, so artwork gives yet another set of images for the child to concentrate on and to assimilate. And we know making and enjoying art is a human tendency, one of the human tendencies outlined by Maria Montessori's son, Mario Montessori. And for generations and generations, Artwork has been a source of conversation for human beings, and it's no different from the toddlers. I have one particular piece of artwork, actually it's one that Dr. Montessori recommended Montessori classrooms have, and I won't get into why that is here so much, but I often find toddlers looking at this work by Raphael and discussing it with each other. Just at the beginning of this year, a two-year-old was explaining the artwork to a one-year-old and it was her own interpretation of what it meant and isn't that what art is? It's for the artists to send out into the world and for us to interpret and enjoy. And they can do this at a very young age. So pieces of art are conversation starters for the children, not only with adult, but with each other. So we want to display the art at the child's level so that when the child is gazing at the artwork, their eye line is approximately in the middle of the artwork. We have artwork displayed all around the classroom. So I do encourage you to have art, beautiful art in your child's bedroom, in the common living spaces that is displayed at your child's eye level so that they too can appreciate the art in the home. So you might have a few walls where you have your favorite pieces at your eye level and then maybe one wall, maybe even a hallway where there is some art at their level and presented in a beautiful way that's respectful of the art and of the child. And artwork can be had so inexpensively. The only real investment piece I have in my classroom is that print that Dr. Montessori suggested all Montessori classrooms have. I told my husband I wanted that for my birthday, so he had a frame for me. But the other pieces were gifts, you know, just tell people you're looking for art for your classroom or for your home. Go to Goodwill or another secondhand store. I've gotten some very lovely pieces that enable me to rotate the work out frequently for, you know, four to 10 bucks. Very affordable and you can build and rotate your classroom or home art collection over time, of course. And I'm fortunate that my husband's stepmom is an artist, so I have several of her pieces that I rotate into the classroom for the season. So if you have any artist friends, tell them, you know, you'd love to have some of their art. All right, thanks for watching. I would really love to see you in the comments and I would love to know if you are a parent or a teacher watching. I can only learn so much from the analytics, but I am really curious to get to know all of you better so that I can make videos that will help and serve you in your parenting or teaching life. All right, thanks for watching and here are some more videos you might enjoy.